extract. He had a chunk of fat. So we've collected 40 grams of fat tissue and now we're starting the mincing process. So I'm just cutting up the fat tissue so that we can get access to the stem cells. Go. As Carol's finishing up with the fat, we're closing up Diesel already. He will be awake in just a few minutes. I am putting the fat into two tubes for further processing. Good. So after we've added the digestion enzymes, they go into the shaking water bath at 37 degrees for 45 minutes. We took the blood samples and spun them down for 4 minutes at 2500 RPM. Here you can clearly see the heavier red blood cells and the pl plasma on the top. So now I'm going to take the plasma off of all the tubes and combine it into one tube. Once we've combined all the plasma, we put it back into the centrifuge to spin out the cells. After incubating for 45 minutes, the sample's pretty liquid. Now we're going to spin it in the centrifuge to spin out the stem cells. So it's spun. This section down here is called the stromal vascular fraction. It contains the stem cells and associated helper cells. stop and the red gets to the beginning of the conical section. So this will put a little bit of vacuum on it so we can filter. So now we have isolated the stromal vascular fraction and filtered it, and now we go in for another spin. After the spin, you can see a cell pellet at the bottom. Filtering again. Mm -hmm. Diesel, you had enough energy when you came in, you can have enough energy later.
Then the last step we do is we put it in a light activation unit for 20 minutes. These specific wavelengths of light are known to help activate the stem cells. It is the final product.